Here I am with another ranking. Of course, wow, I have. Christopher Blue's department. No, no, no. We don't do that anymore. No. We don't do that anymore. Now we do a different thing. We're not doing that anymore. Right now we're doing rankings. This camera's shaking because my dog's tail keeps hitting the tripod. <laughs> to my left, I have the one, the only, Reaver. To, to my right, the man who's sailing his own ship, Captain Calm. Baby boys and girls, long time no see. Today, we are rating our favorite movies. So we are bringing to the table, uh, each of us are bringing two of our favorite movies and uh, we are all going to kind of agree on a ranking system. Um, the best movie that, that we bring to the least best movie of the bring, that we bring. No hurt feelings are to be had. If you bring a crappy movie, that's your own fault. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, but, but everyone has different uh, tastes and, 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 you know, likes different things. So try to keep an open mind to uh, what the general audience might enjoy. I will present my first, um, my first favorite movie, um, and I mean it's going to be hard to disagree with this one. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. um, it came out in 2018. Across the Spider-Verse is now out, and uh, that is very good as well. But to me, it, it's not quite um, as good as the original because the original is a self-contained story. And I, I just, I love Into the Spider-Verse. So that is my first movie that I am bringing to the table. We will pass it off to Captain Calm. With my favorite, one of my favorite movies? Yes, your, one of your, your favorite movies. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Oh, that's that's a classic. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island? And what? Why is, why is that movie one of your favorites? Well, first off, the monsters are real. And second of all, it really does tell a good story. It had uh, Billy Crystal in it. But more importantly, it's terror <laughs> Don't want to get hit with copyright. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And Reverb. I, I will give it, though, that they did four or five of those movies. Uh, Zombie Island, Witches Ghosts, uh, Cyber Chase, Aliens Are Here, and then there was another one. But there was no masks. There mm. was, I mean, like, one of them had masks, but the aliens were real, the, the Witches Ghost was real, the zombies were real. Mm -hmm. They, they literally got sucked into a computer. Yeah. And I, I think the other one was Loch Ness or a different vampire thing, and hmm. that was real. Um, but my choice this round is gonna be Armageddon. It, it's got a little bit of everything, and it's it's got one hell of a cast. It's got Ben Affleck, Michael Clark Duncan, Bruce Willis, Liv Tyler, uh, Steve Buscemi, mm -hmm. uh, Billy Bob Thornton, and some other people who are very important, but I just think they're yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, Armageddon, yeah, while a, a star-studded cast, that's just not my genre of movie, to be, to be honest. Um, so, like, if I were to have to choose between one of your guys, I would probably have to see Zombie Island before I'd go see Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hanging, hanging out with the, the pals. Uh, but let's say you couldn't choose your own movie and you had to choose one of ours, would you go into the Spider-Verse? Or would you go Zombie Island? I'd go Zombie Island. Okay. All right. And what about you? If you had to choose one of ours, Into the Spider-Verse or Armageddon? Into the Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse. Okay. So, it sounds like so far, per it, this is just how it sounds, so far the list goes Zombie Island, Into the Spider-Verse, Armageddon. But we each have another movie to throw into this. Let's, uh... Let's pick our second drafts. And this time we will go backwards. So, Reverb, what is your second movie to throw into this mix? The Road to El Dorado. Ooh, okay. The Road to El Dorado. Uh, we are our friends outside of this and I know how much you love that movie and how, how much you meme with that movie. Yep, uh, I know how much that movie memes to you. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I love adventure and growing up that was uh, uh, my my best friend and I would watch that at, at least five or six times a summer hmm. uh, and and we would go out on river trails and forest walks and everything and we would hype ourselves up and watch the movie either before or after mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that was that was that was just our our movie connection growing up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good pick. What do you got, Captain? Pro Professor Layton and the Lady Diva. Professor Layton and the Lady Diva. Eternal Diva. Eternal. Eternal. Okay. Now, see, that movie sort of sounds familiar, but I'm not sure that I know what that is. Have you ever heard of it? It sounds like something you have to roll a d20 on. Oh. <laughs> All right, so tell us about this movie. So, it stars a video game character from level 5, Professor Layton. He solves puzzles with his assistant, Luke. And on this adventure, which is now a full-length movie, he tries to figure out the mystery of the Eternal Diva after a mysterious man who I will not spoil for you. Okay. Let's just say, masterminds this award for trapped souls in this intriguing mystery, and the finale is climactic, and it spares the emotions. <laughs> now, I will say, now that I, I, I do know where I recognize that name, it, it is a Nintendo game, isn't it? Yes. By Professor level, Layton? Yeah, level five, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So, I, I know of the property. Um, but I don't, I've never, I didn't know there were a movie. Yeah, there was one movie. Wow, okay. Um, I might have to check that out. Uh, but my, my, uh, movie, the final movie I will enter into this race. Oh, you know, I, I spoke about, about this series, um, on the Father's Day episode last season. Um, and I gotta say the Austin Powers movies. Uh, but if I can only pick one, let's let's go specifically the sequel, The Spy Who Shagged Me. That that movie is so hilarious. It introduced so many like pop culture characters. Was that the one where he was driving that thing in the hallway and then had to stop and do the eighty point turn? That I believe was the first movie. That was the first one. That okay. was the first movie. Um, but yeah, Austin Powers is such a funny movie. It is it is one you can easily like have your friends come over, pop it in, and everyone just have a great time. Hey, uh, hold on a second. We'll, we'll get back to the ranking in just a moment. I forgot to film a, uh, a special thank you in this ranking video. So if you look right here, here are all my third and fourth degree members. Thank you guys so much for making this show possible. If you would like to contribute and uh, help us out check in the link in the description for our patreon link uh, let's get back to the ranking so now that we've we've introduced these th three new movies into the mix without choosing any of your own which which movie out of uh, the other four would you want to see the most I think I'd still go with uh, uh, zombie island first zombie island for your number one and then what's your number two and then awesome powers okay all right I think I, who, see, I think Zombie Island got knocked down for me, because honestly, Road to El Dorado is, is one that like, in all our years of friendship, I don't remember ever watching it with you, and I don't, I don't think that's ever been like an option we've talked about. We need to watch it. We, <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I, I think Road to El Dorado would be my number one. Um, number two... I, I'm going to have to go with Zombie Island because, uh, you know, I, I've never heard of, of your second option and Armageddon, just, again, not not my style of movie. I'm sorry. Uh, so what... what it's got a whole bunch of... It's, it's a group of people and they just work together and then suddenly they're all like, hey, <laughs> there's a meteor coming and we need people to drill and we need people to save us and, and you're the only people that can do it. Like, all right. And then it's got the... <laughs> awesome scene where they're all just walking slowly and it's got the, the music and they got to go up blow up a meteor yeah but 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 yeah just you know chilling out in louisiana eating some peppers is you know right up there too <laughs> <laughs> all right what's your number one and then number two into the spider reverse el dorado okay all right so into the spider verse was only mentioned once that means there's no way it is uh at two, it was at two. Zombie Island was one. El Dorado was mentioned twice. Oh man, I don't know how we can do this ranking now. Um, okay, the ones that are bottom tier, I think are easy. No one mentioned Armageddon. No one mentioned the Professor uh, movie. Armageddon and the Professor one are in the bottom two. I think we, we can fairly say that. 
So we'll, we'll just put those at, at five, six. We'll get back to that. The first four, we have Zombie Island, Into the Spider-Verse, not necessarily in this order. Spider-Verse, El Dorado, Austin Powers, and Zombie Island. Zombie Island. Yeah. So out of those four. I would say Zombie Island's two. Yeah? I would say that El Dorado be, we mentioned that. Yeah, uh, El Dorado being number one. Zombie Island Ooh. number two. And, and again, I'm, I think it, it's better that we don't defend our own movies because then we'll be here all night. Mm -hmm. But I would like to ask, are we sure no one wants to go <laughs> up to bat for Into the Spider-Verse to, to place it higher? No, it's, it's, a, it's a good movie, but I mean, El Dorado and Zombie Island are animated classics that have stood the Okay, time. so can we put Into the Spider-Verse at three? Yeah. Are we good with that? Yeah. Okay, so we're saying El Dorado and, and uh, Zombie Island are in top two. Yeah. I, I, I can go with that uh, if we can place Into the Spider-Verse at three. Does that automatically put Austin Powers at four then? Yeah, yeah. And, and, that's, and that's what I kind of felt off about it. I feel like Austin Powers is a really great movie and I feel like it should at least be third. That's, that's what I'm feeling about it. I mean, okay. what do you guys think? Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> so, all right. We'll, we'll stop Spider-Verse halfway through and then we'll so, fast forward through the first 40 minutes of Austin Powers and finish it. So far we have Armageddon and uh, Professor Layton's... Uh, Etern and the, uh, Professor Layton and the Eternal Diva. Yes. Those are like switching up back and forth for 5th uh, and 6th. Then we got switching up for 3rd uh, and 4th into the Spider-Verse and Austin Powers and then are we saying definitively the first is what? El Dorado. El Dorado. El Dorado. Second is Zombie Island. Third is either Into the Spider Verse or Austin Powers. Yeah. Let's let's make it. We, we let's try to make it a definitive answer here. I'd say Austin Powers for third. I feel like that is way. I feel like that movie has some comedy gold. In it. And you said it yourself, though, too, yeah. Well, both of these are my movies, so I can't really defend either one. Um, personally, um, like, I, uh, Austin Powers is nostalgic for me, and I love it to death, but as a movie, Into the Spider-Verse edges it out a little bit for me. And, you know, this is how I would rank these movies, but this is a combined list. So, you said Austin Powers is a little more... I say into the Spider Verse is a little more. That means it's up to you um, which gets third place. I think I'd go into the Spider Verse, okay. um, mostly because it's it's got more genre to it. It's got comedy and drama, action, and Austin Powers is action but mostly humor. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly a comedy. All like, right, like they can like even a, a dramatic moment has to be turned into humor. Okay, so we got El Dorado, Zombie Island, Into the Spider Verse. Austin Powers, and uh, I'm I'm going to just say right now, I would probably go Armageddon before Professor Layton, only because I've actually heard of Armageddon, you know, and so that must mean it's made a bigger impact in the world. Um, I've actually heard of the Armageddon movie, so that's. Have you watched it? I I, th I think I have. I'm sure I have, but it's just not one that I'm I'm ready to go see. But I, I think I would have to choose Armageddon over. Professor. Um, Layden and the Eternal Diva. Yes. Now, we're in a weird situation where you guys have to defend each other's movies and why you think it's better. So, <laughs> so why do you think Armageddon should be out, uh, Professor Layton? Well, we beat out? Yes, yes. You have to defend each other's movies because oh. you can't choose your own. Well, I feel like, like you said, Armageddon is more popular, and Professor Layden is a very underrated gem series. However, I feel like Armageddon, like Reverb said, has a high standing cast, and I bet it'd be interesting and fun to watch. Okay. Why would Professor Layden's movie beat out Armageddon? Um, I've never heard of it or seen it, but I, I guess I will give that uh, a lot of video games have been turned into movies, and... Uh, they're they're generally pretty good. Okay. Uh, e even the one that the, the Mario movie from the '80s that everyone says is god awful, I've seen it once and I liked it. Yeah. And I don't think I've seen a uh, uh, video game based movie that I didn't like. Okay. So, tell me if we we disagree. El Dorado, 
Zombie Island, Into the Spider-Verse, Austin Powers, Armageddon, and Professor Layden's uh, and the eternal <laughs> Thank you. Do we agree on this list and the, this? Yeah. Yes. All right. That is our sixth list. Tell us what movies you think should have made this list and how how you would have rearranged this list in the comments below. This has been a fun ranking. Got a nice drum beat in the background. Nice. Um, <laughs> this has been a fun ranking. Tell us what we should rank next. Until next time. Good night, my sweet baby angel. See you in the future. See you baby boys and girls next time. <laughs>